with COVID-19, constant change, your career, and the kids, do you think you're feeling a little bit stressed? Well, if you're anything like me, yes. This video is gonna give you some insight to help you to feel more peace and more calm. One more thing before we start. Are you a boulder or are you a dandelion? And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you why I'm asking that question. I bet you've heard the story about what happens if a dinosaur was chasing you. Your stress hormones would propel you into hyper mode. You run as if your life depended on it, because it does. Although we know how powerful positive thinking can be, emotions override thinking. Travel back with me to prehistoric times. Meet Henry. He's our dinosaur who is taller than a five-story building and heavier than a jumbo jet. Out of the corner of his eyes, he sees us. And it's dinner time. We hear his roar as Henry rushes toward where we are hiding. With superhuman agility, we run. Our heart is beating so fast that it feels as though if Henry doesn't get us, the stress will. With all of that adrenaline coursing through our body, can you imagine sitting down on a rock to take a moment to think positive thoughts? Just imagine, we're sitting on the rock saying, I think I can, I think I can. Then as rude as he can be, Henry finishes our thought process by eating us for lunch. The surge in emotions or our body chemistry is there for a reason. Fear was built into us so that we could escape danger. Now let's up the ante by throwing in the fact that women react differently to stress than men do. Although men exhibit fight or flight response, we have tend and befriend hormones. It was originally developed by Dr. Shelley E. Taylor and her research team at the University of California, Los Angeles, and first described in a psychological review article published in the year 2000. So let's imagine that we are with our He-Man and children when Henry comes charging. He-Man takes off like the wind and yells for us to follow. We want to run too, but what about the children? Like a mama bear, everything in us goes into protective mode. Instead of running like the wind, we run at the pace of our offspring. Then. While charging after us, Henry steps on a sharp rock. It forces him to roar in pain. Although relieved that we can get away, there is something in us that feels for poor old Henry. Being the woman, we might even feel compelled to send him a get well card. What I am trying to say in no uncertain terms is that women experience stress a lot more differently than men. We've all heard about the momentum of an emotion. We've got to move those chemicals through our bodies or lose our way. This is why positive thinking doesn't always work in times of high stress, especially for women. I remember a time in my life when everything was falling apart. And this is when positive thinking was all the rage. So I did as instructed and I'd sit in front of the mirror and I'd say, Deborah, you are so beautiful. But the woman reflecting back in the mirror to me, she looked so ragged and she had sad, sad eyes and the more that I would try to think positive the more that I'd feel like 
an utter failure. My dinosaur was post-traumatic stress and a health challenge. And I certainly wasn't feeling very beautiful. So I went to my dad and I asked him, Dad, why isn't positive thinking working for me? And he looked at me with a little twinkle in his eye and he says, Deb, I've got a challenge for you. For the first week, I want you to think as many positive thoughts as you can. For the second week, I'm going to give you enough money to go to the beauty parlor to get your hair done, your makeup done, your nails done. And at the end of that time, I want you to tell me which made you feel better and why. Now remember, all those hormones stress hormones that course through our body are really there to protect us. And if we can channel that energy out, then we can manifest so many things. So join me as we energize your vital spark to bring you back to yourself. <laughs>